All right, Damon, kind of got some yucky, wacky weather moving through the area this afternoon. Are people still going to need to watch out for this as they try to get home from work today or go out tonight? Well, as we get a little later in the day, things are starting to look up. Okay. So for the next little while, you will have to watch out for that. But as we get toward the end of the day, things are looking to okay. improve. But it can't get much worse than what we got out yeah. there right now. Just not the greatest. A lot of rain has been coming down over the last couple of hours at a pretty steady rate. And again, in places like Hagerstown, there has also been some very wet snow mixing in at times. It's not sticking to the ground. It's not showing up really all that much on radar, but you can definitely notice it. And it's almost like a big raindrop hitting you when that kind of stuff comes down from the sky. And the temperature is part of the reason why we have that snow mixed in a little bit. It's down around 36, so too warm for any sort of significant steady snowfall, but not warm enough for there to just be plain rain. There's a good look at the satellite and radar picture of the last few hours. The rainfall and most of the precipitation has started to wane from south to north. There's some drier conditions going on now across parts of northern Virginia, but across southern PA and much of northern Maryland, that precip is still coming down at a pretty good clip. And you can see those areas of pink and blue mixing in, and that's where that snow has been relevant across parts of Cumberland, Hagerstown, Chambersburg. The more north you go, generally, you've had more of that snow mixing in and making things slushy. And there's a good look at the temperature profile too going on out there again closer to freezing as you get off to the north but the more south you go it's been mostly in the upper 30s and lower 40s keeping any precip as just rainfall near dc across northern virginia and into central and southern maryland and where it has been just rain well those rainfall estimates so far have been Pretty decent. We've got about a half an inch of precipitation in places like DC. So this has been a bit of a soaker of a system as compared to how dry it's been of late. But there you can see the center of that system pulling away from the east coast south of us as that continues off to the north and east. This entire batch of precip will start to move along with it. And there are drier conditions in the wake of this system down the line for us here later this evening. So it's still going to be damp out there. That temperature is not going to go anywhere. So we're going to have that fresh precip and pretty chilly temperatures into tomorrow. But Thursday and Friday, drier conditions are going to prevail to wrap up the work week. But that is going to set us up then to have quite a messy day on Saturday. We're looking at pretty much everything being possible. Rain, some snow soon after that followed up by a lot of wind can be expected. So Saturday is the next day we're going to keep our close eye on here. But for now, we're trying to watch the last of this storm system head out. And as we go toward the early afternoon, notice how those rain showers continue to mostly stay off to the north. By 5 o'clock this evening, every bit of precipitation will be gone, but the cloud cover isn't really going to be going anywhere anytime soon. We're likely to finally start to see some clearing overnight tonight going into Thursday. But another weak front is going to pass over the area tomorrow. It's not really going to have much behind it other than some cloud cover. We're mostly going to see dry conditions and on top of that, slightly warmer temperatures as we get into the rest of your Thursday. The temperature should climb all the way back up toward the 50 degree mark and it gets even warmer still on Friday with temperatures climbing back toward 60. Now, all of that warmer air is going to set us up for that next storm system Friday night to start out as just rain. But then as temperatures take a tumble on Saturday, we'll see that transition over to snowfall throughout the day to kick off the weekend. So like I mentioned, a bit of a mess on Saturday, windy and cold heading into Sunday, but it looks like as we get into early next week, things start to quiet down and sort of level off into Monday and Tuesday.